everybody. I'm just going to pull up my page while it's sending out the notification that I'm going live. Oh, and I got a little pop up on mine, so that should be good. Now, I'm always paranoid about making sure I'm on the right page because one time I was on my own personal page. Oh, where is it? Sometimes it takes a minute to show up. Um, so, tomorrow night, I'm going to finish doing my lamp. So I've got the one side of the shade, and I'm going to do the other side, which is blank. Um, i do that tomorrow night. I'll finish that off. So I'm going to do something else different in ink tonight. So let me go ahead and just move my stuff out the way. So I can get to my inks. out just to work on. All right, let's see. Okay, it's going. So hopefully this is a better angle. I think you can see more of everything. Um, hopefully this way. All right, got all my little things. Um, I was gonna go ahead and look and see what I want to do for boards. Um, I'll show you a couple of different, so Chalk Couture has, because you, like you can see I did the lampshade, so you can do stuff on reusable surfaces or non-reusable surfaces, and you can do the chalk paste or the um, ink on them, completely your choice, just remember the ink is going to be permanent, um, and as you saw when I tried to do the pot holders the other, yesterday, um, that, that stuff doesn't come up once it's on there, once it's on there and dried, it is permanent. But I had grabbed a couple of different things out that we'll take a look at after. Um, there's okay, so two of the big re, two of the big non-reusable surfaces they have are the palette board and the burlap. What's it called? Burlap board. Uh, and I'll sh I'll show you what those look like because I'm gonna do a, one of the signs on one of them tonight. I got one of each to test it out. So, this is the palette board. Comes like in an off gray color. Uh, you can always paint it any color that you want. You can go either way. Um, a lot of people will actually do this side of it, one way or the other, and take things like the little hearts. And because it's got a little ledge on this side, you can like balance little things in there, like the little hearts. Just a little something extra that some people do. We've got that one. And then the natural burlap board. I'll pull that one out. I haven't seen this one yet. lines in it. At first it looks like corduroy, but I mean it doesn't feel like corduroy. Um, but it does look like that kind of texture and feel like that kind of texture of lid. And it's got the little nails around the edge. Obviously the back side you're not going to use, but um, so those are two of the non-reusable. Um, and with the pellet board, honestly, if you wax this down and use chalk paste on it, likely you're going to be able to get the chalk paste off and reuse it over and over again. Um, it's just not guaranteed to, like with the um, other boards, the the black and white chalkboards. And then I did get this one too, but I wanted to get a bigger board so I could do my C size transfers on. So I did the one C size transfer for the Heaven for the Botanicals collection the other day. And I wanted to get one of the Odette boards, which are white with black around the outside. I got one that size so I can just go. So this is the Odette board. It's got the sawtooth hangers across the top. Um, and this is a reusable surface. So you use chalk paste on this. It's going to come off and look like brand new when you get done. So those are just like three usable, reusable boards. Or one reusable and two non-reusable boards that you can do with the um, chalk paste. 
Uh, don't put ink on the reusable ones because it's permanent and you want to be able to reuse them. That's the whole purpose of them. Okay, a uh, couple different ones that I've got that I was trying to pick and decide between. Um, one of them is the Andrews Laundry Company so because laundry is never ending. Uh, and then I have a nice enclosed porch, so I was thinking about the Welcome to Our Porch one. Um, but I also have a general store one. This one actually is temporarily unavailable. It's one of the new ones. Um, but they found a defect in a couple of them, so they got rid of what they, the supply that they had, and uh, they're actually going to be sending me another one. Um, but this one looks fine. I haven't tried it yet. I'll try it afterwards and see. So I was going to do another ink project. I'm just trying to decide if I want to use my burlap board for which side. I think the wood one for the porch, will, it'll go nice on my front porch. Because actually the, I did like peel and stick tile on it for wood, is actually pretty much as good to match this. I think I'll do the welcome the porch on this one and then this one I'll end up doing the Endless laundry clothes, so wash and dry, fluff and fold, 24 7 open. I think that, that one will fit on there good. So, got a couple of those projects lined out. And obviously, I don't need to put anything underneath it for inking because it's good enough the way it is. Okay. So, I probably should decide what kind of color I want. So my front porch, let's see, I've got like maroon furniture on it, but let's see. It's gray background, so I want it to stand out. I think I'll do my black. I haven't gotten enough of the black yet. Okay, so first thing I'll do is... Um, decide because I didn't wax it down so I just took it out of the box I might do a little test on it to see if I need to fuzz the transfer a little bit I'm using ink so I don't usually need to um, but I want to make sure I get the transfer back off so I want to be able to reuse it over and over again it's going to be to stick on the wood and come back up so since you know I haven't used it before let's try to stick it up. yeah it took up a little bit from the wood so I do need to wax it I don't want to ruin my transfer the first time out all right I'm going to grab my hold on a second I'm going to grab my wax so I can go get it and then come back and wax it I just got it over here on the side table That there's a delay on there because now I'm just looking at an empty chair. <laughs> All right, so really any kind of like finishing wax, mini wax that you can get your hands on just to give it enough so that when you put stuff on it, it pulls up easy and you don't want to pull up. Like I just pulled a little piece of the wood, the little the paint that's on the wood up. And I wasn't sure if I needed to transfer to do that or not. So I just put it on, I just put it on generously. You can usually tell by the color what it looks like. If you've missed any spots or not, don't be afraid to put plenty on it. And 
and I'm trying to figure out what kind of um, wood I'm going to go get to start making up the welcome door leaners and stuff like that. And I've got like a bless our home one and I'll do different like family names, crests, things like that. But I haven't made it to Lowe's yet. Maybe this weekend. It's just up the street. Then I usually just look in the light and say, oh, did I miss any sections? If I'm not sure, I just go over it again. Better safe than sorry. People seem to like the lampshade that I did last night. I loved it. I figured it'd look good, but I didn't know it was going to look that good. I've got it lit up behind me. I think you can see, yeah, you can see it. does dry pretty quickly. I'm just going to set it to the side while I'm waiting for it to dry. And set this one over here. And I'm going to do a little wooden one while I'm waiting for that to dry. and Hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, let's see. What I got in the mail. do a little chalk couture logo on this one. This is the back side of where I did the country kitchen in chalk. Um, probably should just uh, I'm I just can't decide which one I want to do because I realized I have not waxed this. And that was the whole point of me just waxing that one. Alright, it's a good thing I can back up. I like these bags to store my stuff back in but Sometimes they're a pain. Okay. Go to the next one in line. The one I know I will definitely be able to do, and I'll test out the general store one on my new 12 by 18 debt board and my C general store transfer. So this one says uh, open daily general store, home goods, groceries. So good for like a pantry or kitchen area. So I'll make the steak like, the steak like I did before. I'll double check to make sure that my sawtooth hangers, ah, they're on the bottom. So flip it around so I can put them on the top. Unlike the other day where I can't hang my heaven one up behind me because oh, I didn't make sure my sawtooth hanger, it's driving me crazy though. So I'm gonna end up taking the heaven off and putting it back on the right way. So I will be using chalk paste for this because it's a reusable board. But this way I'll get a good chance to test out this general store one. Um, they will, they'll be, they're going to be sending another one anyways when the new stock comes in. But I'll see how it turns out. And since it's a reusable surface, I'm going to fuzz it up. There's all different ways you can take the bigger ones off, whatever you feel comfortable with, like this, because you don't want it to fold back in itself and stick. Um, some people pull a little bit off, put it on a towel, and then pull the rest of it apart as they're pushing it down. However you feel coordinated. So if you feel comfortable doing it, do it. 
Um, last night when I took the Paris transfer after doing the lamp and getting offline um, to the bathroom to wash it, uh, by the time I got it to the bathroom sink, it was in a ball. Because <laughs> it's, you know, obviously much bigger than this one, but it kept sticking on itself and I was trying not to get ink all over me and I should have just let ink get on me. Um, the ink did stain the transfer a little bit, but the mesh area is completely clear, so it's not going to impact it in the future. This does feel really sticky. It feels normal though. So hopefully I got one of the good ones and not one of the... They, they do certain quality control checks on things and there were three of the new transfers that they just weren't satisfied with. So they pulled them, but some had already gone out, obviously. Uh, so they're gonna resend anybody who got the old ones as a precaution, they're gonna resend them once the new stock comes in because they don't wanna put out that product. All right. So when you're laying your transfer down on the reusable boards, if a piece of it sticks and you can't get it up or you're like fighting it, don't put it down, fuzz it some more. <laughs> Learn from my mistake and don't make the same mistake. And this lays pretty much perfectly in here, top to bottom, so it makes it super easy to line up. And the little edges are up, so I'll be able to get a good grip on it because it's the Odette board that's curvy. The Sylvian 8, so the Aiden board's got the thick frame around it, nice fancy looking one, um, and it's the magnetic board. The Sylvie was the one behind me that has the heaven on it, which is square. Um, it's just, it's got the white, it's not as wide of a border around it, as you can see behind me. Um, and it's not a magnetic board. So it's less expensive. It's pretty similar, and I, I really like the Odette boards. They're nice. And they're lighter too, so if you're worried about, I mean, they're solid, but they just feel lighter. Okay, push my ink to the side because I'm not going to use my ink on this. I don't want to accidentally grab the wrong jar. I don't need my scissors anymore. Okay, so I just need to decide what colors I want to use. And if I want to do different colors or not. So I've got the frame around the edge, the four corners. So I could probably do that in a green maybe. Or do the general store in green. Then what will I do on the outside? Hmm. Well, if I did red, that's red and green, that's Christmassy. I don't know. I don't want it to look Christmassy. <laughs> I think I'll pull out my silver, my shimmer silver, and use that. Or I've got my copper. I haven't used the shimmer silver on anything yet. Um, I've used the metal on a lot of stuff. So, I think I'll do the frame and everything on the outside in green. And then I'll do the general store in silver. And hopefully that'll look, look good. Okay, I'll get a couple of my squeegees out, a couple of my stir sticks. And let's see. It's been a while since I've used the green. I think the way it looks good. One side of it's a little thick, so I'm just gonna add a little water into it because it has been a lot. It's been buried to the bottom. And I did use the green a lot at Christmas time, so I mean. I still have a lot in there, but this is one of the jars that I've used the most of. Maybe 
nice and creamy. Usually about the texture of yogurt or sour cream. A nice whipped up frosting, cool whip kind of stuff. Somehow I got it on my finger. All right, so since this is such a huge transfer, as I'm doing it, I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna go across and then I'm gonna pull it up and give it a second to dry before I do the next one. Because if I did the entire transfer, by the time I get to the bottom, the stuff at the top is gonna start already dry. And then it'll start to stick in the mesh screen and I don't want that to happen. So, I'll start with this. I'm just trying to pay attention to how I'm going so that I don't go in an area. Grab a color that I want to put in silver by mistake in green. If you're putting it on and it feels like it's thick, then you need to add a little water to it. Um, that's really, I've never had that be a problem with a shimmer. And the new paste formula likely is not going to need it as well. Um, but if for some reason you get any of the old paste formula or you get paste from somebody um, or, an, or a paste packet that might be the older style, just something to be aware of. Some colors are retired, so if you're ever looking around and there's a color that you want um, and you find it somewhere else because it's sold out, those likely are going to be an older paste formula. So it's nice and sticky and I'm pulling up just a little. one little area that is so you can always lay it right back down push from the bottom up there's some areas that look like it was a little thick I'm gonna put a little extra water in here just in case because I'm getting down to the bottom so in case I pick up any dry stuff in the corner of the jar or something make sure it's extra creamy It just looks like it wasn't a fine line, so I'm just going to go over a little area again and then pull it up. Hoping that that fixes what I look like is an issue. I'm gonna get my silver out while I've got that drying. And the new paste formulas have the little seal for your protection seal on them. It's a foam seal, so you'll take the foam seal off and you'll stick it in the lid um, because it will continue to help keep your paste from protected from air and stuff. I'm making a mess of my fingers tonight so for some reason. Okay. I'm just going to grab the stuff off the lid first. To see, I'll make it a little bit easier. And I'm not wasting what's on the lid and it won't dry out. Usually stuff ends up on the lid just like anything else in transit or if you tip a jar over even if it's like spaghetti sauce, you tip a jar over, it sticks to the lid on the inside. Basically the same concept. This is nice and shiny and sparkly. I don't know if you can really tell that. This is the first time I've used the silver. I had like little paste packets of it 
at Christmas time. I had a little gold one and a little silver one. Um, and they looked good too. I just wasn't able to really do a big, huge surface. The letters themselves are have uh, the tealish color transfer in them because to give it the distressed look. Um, I think I'm gonna do open daily in green though, because I kind of like how that looks. A little different from the silver. I'm just going to pull up a so it's already up in the section I did before. So I'm just going to pull up another section as evenly as I can. I'm going to fix my little corners there. So the little I don't know what you call them on the edge here in the corners a little extra added design that started to dry before I lifted it up on that corner so I'm just pushing it back down holding the squeegee and pushing it back in that area way back in that direction with nice wet paste on it and I make sure I get down here so I can pull it right up for the whole general area the general store part. There we go. Right. Trying to pull it up easily without sticking my fingers in it. Oh, the general looks good in silver. Green and silver, good choice. Turns out it was a good choice. All right, and before I stick this back down, I'm gonna give it a second, just so it's not so wet when I put it back down, because I don't want this um, the sticky part that's so sticky to mistakenly lay on any of the chalk and then pull it right back up while it's still wet. Oh, I really like that. Sweet. So I didn't push it down or anything, I just set it there. One little bar here in the middle between the general and store. I'm gonna try to get that in green. Usually I don't notice the shimmers have such a shine to them, but the silver is nice and shiny. I mean, all I can basically see is the glitter, which I love it. Oops, I picked up a little piece of green somewhere. Don't try to like stretch the paste out on it. Just go back into the jar and grab a little bit more paste. Uh, remember that you can always wipe up any excess. Easier to wipe up the excess and put it back in the jar than to um, not be, you know, Try to stretch out your paste and then you pull it up and it looks crappy.
just gonna put some fresh green down in here so then I can pull it up. My hands are just a mess tonight. I'm gonna grab my glass wipe. a little bit too much on this one side so I haven't done the bottom one yet okay. oops sticking to myself okay, so I just got one little part across the bottom to do the green and I can pull the whole rest of the transfer up mixed my green and um, silver together for some of it. That probably would have looked pretty good. One thing about the bigger transfers. So when you're first starting out, start with a smaller transfer. This is a C size, which is kind of like double the B size and B is double the A size. So it's good to start with the A or one of the minis. Um, and usually when we give out sample kits and stuff, they are, um, sample and mini kits are the, the little small mini ones to start with because they're nice, quick, easy. You get a feel for the ink or the paste. See, it's a good thing I didn't do the uh, the rest of the lampshade tonight because I'm making a huge mess. So it's kind of cute. Old style. I even got paste out here. Wow. Messy tonight. I'm being messy. Usually, like within five minutes, that'll be dry. And I just stuck my finger in the chalk paste again. I do have my water basin, but my water basin is not big enough for the sea size transfer. I'm just spray a little extra water in here because I am getting really low on this metal. I do have another jar, I just haven't opened it yet. Uh, again, I spray it because it's a jar. I spray in distilled water, bottled water is okay, um, so that the air trapped in there, that I just sealed air in there, will, when it takes, tries to take the moisture out of the chalk paste, um, because it doesn't have one of the nice seal foams like the new ones. So that itself, I don't spray water in it, it's got the foam so it gives it like an extra air tightness. Whereas this one doesn't have that extra seal on it and the air trapped in there will try to take the moisture out of the chalk paste. So the water that I just sprayed in it, it helps keep it moist, um, but also is like a decoy for the air, so the air will suck up the extra water on there and not dry out the chalk paste. Well, my computer shut off. Um, I got my other little ones here, and I didn't even need 
to use a stir for the silver because the shimmers you don't usually need to. I'm gonna check my board that I waxed. Still feels a little tacky, so I'm still gonna let it dry. Um, so I'll save the welcome to our porch for a little later uh, once I know that this is fully fully dry. It does still feel tacky. Oh let's see. Alright, so I guess that's what I'm gonna end with tonight. It's the general store one. Um, it, the, the letters are supposed to look like that. They've got, they're supposed to look like the nice old general store, like you would see on um, one of those old glass windows and like frosted. Um, it's supposed to look like that. Okay, it's like an older style. That's cute. It's cute in a kitchen. It would be cute in a kitchen. Okay, um, if you can like the video, share the video, comment that you shared it or comment anything, uh, questions that you have. I don't know that anybody watches it until... I mean, I can see how many people have looked at the video. Um, I can't see who unless you hit like, comment, or share. Um, and I know I used to watch videos and not hit like, and now I wish I had so that people would know I've seen them. Okay. All right. Night, everybody.